This week, there's a lot of tie-ins, so let's not waste any time. Uh, so what I read this week was Age of Apocalypse number two and Infinity Gauntlet number three. Nice. And I read Siege. Siege! Siege! <laughs> I do not envy your task. So I'm going to start off with Age of Apocalypse number two. It's written by uh, Fabian Nicieza and drawn by Gerardo Sandoval. Uh, just to wrap up Age of Apocalypse number one from you guys, uh, from what you've read before, we have this kid called Cypher. He can detect uh, all of the language oh, yeah, in the world this. and break down all that language, and he can also apparently read the subtext between people's words. Right. Um, he was captured by Apocalypse, and now Scott and Alex Summers, uh, Cyclops and Havoc, are taking him to, I don't know, they're basically taking him out on a run or a patrol, which is really strange, when the X-Men attack, and the X-Men consist of Wolverine, Emma Frost, uh, Blink, Burner, Rogue, and Magneto. Nice. And they're like, give us the boy! So, starting off number two, it's a huge fight that breaks out, and all of it is narrated by Cypher, and this kid is annoying <laughs> and long-winded, and he has way too much... Uh, it, it's not what a nine-year-old would say. It's uh. the author being like, I am a nine-year-old boy. I will tell you all of this information. Mm -hmm. You will get it all in a very concise manner, but it will also be poetic and floral and it will be beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if he's cypher... Right. He's, yeah, his, he's, his, his natural gift is, his is, language. is language. So, you know, but he's also nine. So yes, but... That's too much of it. This book looks insane. Yeah, it should look like 90s tacular. It's, it's 90s tacular if it was on steroids. Awesome. So... <laughs> There's a great scene where Wolverine is all snarly and feral, but hey, who wants to see that? Let's cut that really short so we can see Burner taking care of everyone. <laughs> you know, Burner, the character we all know. I don't know him. I know Sunfire. I yeah. think Burner is like a knockoff Sunfire, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's like an character. AOA version. There's it's entirely possible. There's going to be... So many Burner fans. They're going to freak out. You don't know who Burner is? They're going to be... They're going to ah! start a, start a flame, flame war. war. Yeah. On you, yeah. Finally, Blink comes in, grabs Cypher, goes back to Magneto... Who has been staying in the back doing nothing the whole time, which is not like Magneto's style that I'm aware of. Mm. And Emma Frost does a mind whammy on Cyclops by just like showing him his history, and apparently that freaks him out. Okay. Like, uh, I'm gonna make you remember the things you already remember. <laughs> no, it's too hard, and he well, no, he's, having, he's having a scumbag brain moment. Yeah. But it's like all about Gene and like how he got his powers, but right. like when they were really young. It's strange. So they grab Cypher, and they apparently also grab Scott Summers. They go back to their secret base, and Scott is put away, and Magneto's talking to Cypher. But hey, let's cut to Sabretooth being a cool detective with Wild Child. And he goes to uh, Haven, Heaven? Lord Worthington III is there, and Sabretooth and, si and Wild Child just, like, bust in. They're like, ah, we're figuring things out. We're detectives. <laughs> we're, we're the most violent out. detectives in the world. But you never see them actually get information or be violent, so. Oh. Don't know what's happening there. Anyway, as you remember from the first book, uh, the virus will wipe out all the mutants. Right. That's what the truth of the truth of the world that Cypher figured out was. Yeah. When Magneto's talking to him, he's like, Apocalypse is, you know, starting a war, and it's going to kill all the mutants and the humans. And Cypher is shocked by this. So, like, if that's what's happening, why does the virus even matter? Right. And if the virus is true, then, like, how come what Magneto is saying isn't the truth? It's a weird conundrum. This book got confusing for me, and I'm not really on board with it. If you really want to see, like, knockout fights and characters that are drawn like the 90s on steroids, pick up this book. It is definitely for you. If you're reminiscent about the Age of Apocalypse and you want to see these characters and these teams again, get this book. That said, wasn't really for me. And of course, I also read Infinity Gauntlet number three, written by both uh, Dustin Weaver and Jerry Dugan, and drawn by Dustin Weaver. I briefly read in Philly Gotten number two to try and catch up and apparently I missed a lot so here's what happened Philly Gotten number two uh the mom came back Eve um goes to the family and talks to them and and gives them all Nova stars so that there's now like a Nova family and she's way. a Nova and she's a Nova she's been a Nova the whole time but she came back and the family wasn't thinking that she was especially the dad but she did so ha 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 <laughs> so there you go um and now they're Novas they're Novas except for Gramps Gramps got taken like oh. Or at least we don't see what happened to him, but we saw a bloody hat. Yeah, we're not going to see Even the dog is a Nova. They put a Nova star on him and the dog can Does fly he get like a Nova costume? costume? Oh, yeah. Fuck yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's K canine Nova. <laughs> is that really what it says? No, it's just... Damn it. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's a joke as about... good as I expected it. There's a police joke about them now having a canine unit. Oh, okay. In the Nova Corps. Yeah. So... <laughs> the mom takes them away, and the daughter's like, Oh, I found this gem inside the... Like a, a bug... Uh, and the mom's like, oh my god, it's one of the Infinity Stones. Give it to me. And it's the Mind Stone. 
Uh, they head back to the Nova base. The Nova base had been destroyed. 30 Nova's dead. Bugs attack the place, and the Infinity Stone they had was taken. Oh. And you don't know by who, except we find out by who. It's, it's Peter Quill, Star-Lord. Oh. And he meets up with Gamora, and they're like, oh, we found this thing in the base when, while the bugs were attacking it, so like this will fetch us a hefty price somewhere. Oh. And they leave. And then Thanos. Thanos is finally in this story. <laughs> and usually he's like cloaked and watching them. He was in the first, like, he was way in the background. And in this one, he was like, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna... It's actually a Flash of the Future. He's fighting one of the Nova people. And then he loses and teleports back in time because he has the Time Stone. Oh. And he meets up with himself and he's like, oh, I failed again. It didn't work. (laughs) That's frustrating. And the other Thanos is like, well, I'll just have to try harder in the the future. (laughs) And the original Thanos that came back blasts him in the chest and kills him. He's like, no. It's time for a different tactic. Oh. Cut to book three. Thanos travels to book one. (laughs) Where the family is still struggling and the mom hasn't come back yet. And he's helping them out. Like, he gives them food. Bugs attack and he defends them. So that when the mom finally shows up, they've already earned his trust. Like, oh, who is this person? And they're like, oh, well, he's helped us out a lot. Right. And to prove to the mom that he's trustworthy, he gives her the time stone. Oh, shit. Which is hard for him to do because he's Thanos. But he's yeah. like, it's the only way I'll earn her trust. Right. Which means no more jumping through time for him. Yeah. With the time stone and the mind stone, they go out. They're looking for other other stones. They meet up with Peter Quill and Gamora. Have a parlay. Manage to get the stone from them and give them Nova Star so that they can be Novas too. Okay. <laughs> All leave as a team with Thanos, the Nova family... Peter Quill and Gamora. Who are now Novas. Who are now Novas. Go to a sentient alien tree. Groot. Groot, yeah. Who doesn't know who he is, but through a series of words starts saying, I am Groot. Okay. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's pretty much by chance that that comes out. But yeah. he has a stone as well. And oh. that's why he was sentient, so he just gives it up to them. And the entire time that this is happening, Thanos is just seething with rage, being like, I can't wait to kill this family! You think I'm nice, but I'm not! Ooh. He's, like, he's like Skeletor! <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, you do it. No, I'm not nice! No, stop calling me that! No, uh, I'll destroy you! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, Now when that's... you talk about Thanos, you have to do the Skeletor <laughs> Oh, well, he's purple too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's terrible. All these Novas have their stones, and I have to pretend to be nice, and it's I'm not nice. I'm a terrible Titan. I'm the mad Titan. I am death. I'll kill you all. By the way, which is a really bad thing to say or think in your mind with someone who has the Mind Stone. Oh I, no. I don't understand how she's not reading his mind. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she's playing it. I yeah. assume she has to be playing it, or there's something where he's a titan and it doesn't affect Right, him. she can't read his mind. But that doesn't make sense because it's the Mind Stone. It's weird. Yeah. But the story is awesome. The entire family is going on this great journey, and they're they're picking up the Guardians of the Galaxy along with them. Uh, Drax is somewhere in the background, like, following, Fit titan, uh, following Thanos because he wants to destroy him. We right. haven't met up with Rocket yet, and they're, I think they're somehow ending up towards Adam Warlock way in the future. Oh. And... Mm. The strange thing is that with Adam Warlock, the mom senses of the stone and is like, I don't think this guy is good. Huh? And Adam Warlock is usually a good character, so yeah. that's that's a weird conundrum. But he uh, he does have evil in it. Like, the after Infinity uh, War... Uh, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> there's, there's two Adam Warlocks. One's bad, one's good. I'm just like, ah, it's with... I'm excited for this because I want to see Thanos freak out and try and kill everyone. <laughs> right. That's why I'm in this story. So far, from what I can tell, they have four. If Thanos is hiding one, they have five. Mm. But you'd think they'd know that because apparently this, the mind gem, Just or the mind them... stone, is like leading them to where all the stones oh, are. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the stones are kind of like the one ring. Like, it wants to be found. Like yeah. They, they yeah. want to they wanna unite yeah. and control all the universe. It's weird. They want to become Captain Planet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this story is really fun. I dig it. It's a cool ride. I'm just waiting to see Thanos take over and just, like, want to kill it. I'm going to kill everyone! <laughs> and him freak out. It's going to be great. So, this week I did Siege. Siege is written by Kieran Gillen with art by Felipe Andre. I also want to mention the colorist because they're so cool. It's Rachel Rosenberg. There's also like random splash pages that are done by three different artists. Ooh. Part of me is really glad I did this because I read, I believe it was one of the Battle Worlds with 1602, um, Kate of Bishop. Yeah. Um, because this is where that story picks back up. 
Um, also, Abigail Brand is in it. Nice. And, like, Abigail Brand in this book is a person that I would... If I were ever to be a leader or something like this, that's who I would want to be. <laughs> She's, like, my hero. I would aspire to be her. Just this sarcastic, hard bitch. She is a huge bitch. I know. No. Especially in uh, Whedon's X-Men. I love her. Um, But part of me is like, maybe I shouldn't have read this as much as Sal should have, because this feels like this is the most tied into the main story. Really? There is so much going on and so many characters that I was like, I need to double check that I know who this is and have to run a background check on them. Abigail Brand is in charge of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. All of it. Oh. Like... That really threw me off, because I remember from Marvel Zombies that we had... Um, Elsa Bloodstone. Yeah, but she is not in charge. No. I think Gail Brand is in charge of all of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, she took the place of Nick Fury. Okay. Um, Nick Fury is, like, 616 Nick Fury, not... Really? Um, well, that's what he looks like. He okay. looks like 616 Yeah, that's, Fury. that's all you need. Um, the S.H.I.E.L.D., I, in my head, like, even though I saw the map, I was like, the shield just keeps the Deadlands out. And I was like, wait, no, it also keeps Perfection out? Mm -hmm. And New Xander. All those are, like, it just circles the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And she's in charge of all of it. Wow. Okay. She has uh, her second in command, Leah. Mm -hmm. And Leah, this is someone I had to look up. I'm like, this is a character, right? Leah is uh, a minion of Hela. Or not a minion, but, like, she works with Hela. She's in, like, she's, like, in that Asgardian thing. And here she's a, a Hell Ranger. Oh. Oh, that's a cool That title. sounds cool. Right? Um, and, like, the Hell Rangers, you know, work under S.H.I.E.L.D., essentially. Under gotcha. her. Um, and in this, it's really funny, because, like, as much as she is a capable fighter and whatever, she also, like, <laughs> like, starts the day for Abigail. Oh. Or, like, Abigail wakes up, and she's like, hey, it's hey. morning. And she's like, I know. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and Abigail is essentially a raging bitch until she gets her coffee. Uh. And then she's just a regular bitch. <laughs> I was like, I can relate to this book. Mm. <laughs> um, also serving with her is uh, the thing. Okay. Who can like travel through rock? Okay. Like, he can tunnel through rock. Like he he just jumps into a wall. And, yeah, like, like at like, one Rah. point, and I think in, in issue two, like he pops out of a wall. Like, hey, <laughs> that's freaking <laughs> weird. I really like that. Um, that's a cool power. Though. Yeah. Right. There's also a guy named Leo. He's got, like, multiple arms and, like, a beard. Okay. He's, like, Leonardo da Vinci. At one yeah. point, we get, like, a Vitruvian man kind well, of. Well, Leonardo thing. da Vinci helped form the original shield. Oh, well, then there you go. Um, see, these are things I wouldn't know, but that's why I'm just going to... Um, and there's also the Endless Summer. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of Cyclopses. <laughs> Because, Is it like multiple man? Because Sinister made clones of Cyclops and then realized he had too many for what he was using them for, so he just gave them to the S.H.I.E.L.D. So they have what? all these Cyclops clones. So they're called the Endless Summers. That's, That's an a cool name. name. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like the Endless Summer. It's just like, it's someone who's got like a little bit of scruff on his face and yeah. like board shorts. He's just like, right. man, Good tan. summer's never going to end. It's going to be great. Like, no. just like, sir. They're all just like, ah! No, they're really cool. Like, very like. There's like a number one of them, but like, mm-hmm. she's just like, you're all interchangeable. I don't care. Whatever. No. She's like, I'm five. She's like, but who cares? Yeah. Um. And there's also Kate of Bishop, Yay. who works under her, and uh, Ms. America Chavez is what? there as well. So if you got sent to the wall, oftentimes you just work for Abigail Brand. Right. Oftentimes that's what happens. That's to you. cool. One of the first books we read. Yeah, it was, it was a force. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you get sent there to fight under right. Abigail Brand. That's cool. So, like, that that's neat. Unless, I guess, you directly, like, go to Doom's Court and then you're just sent And then sent you're sent into... into the Deadlands. And then you're <laughs> so, one of the people trying to get out. So there's, like, different levels of being sent to the wall. Yeah. Um, so they're there. Which is really cool. Because you get to see these really fun interactions between Kate of Bishop and America, America Chavez. Chavez. yeah. So, like, they're... Not like they, like, you know, butt heads, heads, but they, you know, she's from a modern age and she's from... Yeah. She's like, and she calls, and Miss America Chavez calls Kate, like, princess and stuff like that. She's like, I'm not a princess, I'm a lady. (laughs) She's like, I know. I don't care. They're, they're adorable. Um, so you have that going on, but then you have the actual story. Right. There's so much going on in this book and there's only two issues of it. She came from a world called... The Breakland. Okay. Which is not on the map. No. Because at one point, the wall fell. Like, 
it, like, whoever was doing the job that day, which I think was Fury, they didn't do it right. Mm-hmm. And, like, things started spilling out into Battle World. Oh. And worlds were lost, including Breakland, oh. which is where she was orphaned. So she was ripped out of there. And not cool. until the wave that came, not the wave, but, like, the enemies came out mm-hmm. um, to the southern tip of Doom's castle did he do anything. At which he promptly put them all back and rebuilt the wall. What a dick. Um... So well, I want to see how far this goes. Well, he's also like, well, like you should be able to like, keep your the, shit together. You had one job. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Stop these day after day with no respect. Yeah, yeah. So inevitably, um, you know, Brand break uh, grows up, goes to the wall. Mm-hmm. Fury's like, you're gonna take over for me. I'm leaving, and he just goes <laughs> out. Does he go into the Deadlands? Yeah, he just goes. <laughs> well, he goes into the. In to be on the wall. Right. Because don't forget, there's the Deadlands, there's Perfection, and there's New Xander. Right, so he, who knows where he, he went. He goes in there. Hopefully he went to Perfection. That sounds really nice. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's not. No? no. That's, that's With a name like Perfection, it's really misleading. Oh, it's yeah. Ultron's world. Oh, yeah. Where yeah, it's yeah, Ultron yeah. and the Annihilation Wave. Oh, yeah. She doesn't really know, she realizes she doesn't know what she's doing, but she also knows that, like, she's like, here's the message of this whole book, is you can't win. Right. But you can't afford to lose. Right, exactly. Like, you can never well, it never win. ends, Yeah. But if you lose, you've messed up. If you lose, the world ends. But if, right, exactly. Yeah. So that's like that's her every day. Yeah. And Leah is leaving. Oh. She's going to go and command the Hell Rangers, which is like beyond the wall. They're doing things out there. Cool. Right? And Bran's like, don't do that. Wait, there are contingents of people beyond the wall? Yeah. Well, they've got like robots. They've got stuff out there, right? Like okay. looking for things and doing things, apparently. Awesome. And like she's like, don't go. Like, you're never going to find her. Because, mm. like, uh, Leah is obsessed, not obsessed, but is desperate to find Ileana. Oh. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who came to the wall, worked with them, because, like, Brand was like, you know, like, I understand the science part of this whole thing. Like, mm-hmm. I get Ultron <laughs> and that whole thing. But this undead stuff. It's all magic. I don't understand this. So they send magic people there to help. Oh, cool. And, like, Ileana was sent there. Mm. And, like, she was taken into, like, beyond the wall. And, like, Leah's like, she's got to be out there. I know it. And Abigail's like, she's not out no. there. No. Yeah. You, like, even if she is, you don't want to find her. Right. Um, you don't find pieces of her. Because, like, the two of them were together. Naturally. Um, I'm reading a lot of books like that. And I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but Brand is getting another second in command. Okay. They're going to be arriving. And when they arrive, it's Kang, the Conqueror. What? He must have really screwed up. Kang's there, and Kang's like, yeah, like, I would love, like, no, don't go. I'll be in charge of that, like, the Hell Ranger. He wants to be in charge of things. So he'll be in charge of the Hell Rangers, or he'll be in charge of the, the wall. He doesn't care. He just wants right. to be in charge of it because he's better. And he doesn't like Brand. He thinks she's weak. He thinks she's crappy. Naturally. Because, like, she has fear. Right. Because, essentially, because she respects the wall and she understands the gravity of it. And he's yeah. like, no, we should just fight and whatever. And he's just like, I have no fear. And she's like, and that's what makes me the most afraid. Right. And he's like, haha, I'm Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, Kang's a douche. Um, and then, they're like, she's like, like, chewing him out a little bit. And mm-hmm. she's like, and why is your wrist beeping? <laughs> and he's like, oh, because there's a temporal distortion. Yeah. And then another Kang shows up. <laughs> And he's like, we're gonna lose. <laughs> it's exactly what he does. He's like, he's like, ah, and he's all like wispy and like because he can't like solidify there, right. and like he's like talking to Brad. And he's like, we were wrong. Like there was too many like like temporal minds, and like I couldn't navigate it. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what? <laughs> and he's like, and in, she, he goes, in twenty days the wall will fall. Oh, and she's like, and he mentions because of Thanos. Oh shit! Cool. And she's like. Who? Yeah, they don't know who that is. Yeah, but just weird because they're attached to New Xander, but because of the fact that Thanos has been hiding in your book, yeah, nobody knows what a Thanos is. Mm-hmm. What's a Thanos? Is essentially <laughs> the yeah. the whole feeling here. That's a good question. You keep liquids in it to keep them cool or warm. <laughs> it's a thermos. Um. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so like, look, like that's the bulk of the story. Um, in issue one, that's just issue one. Like it's just, bleh. um. They do a couple other things where, like, you see how, like, they travel throughout the wall, which mm. is why Ben Grimm is important, because he... He's he, like, jump into, the, <laughs> jump into the stone! Well, he, he'll tunnel from place to place, he'll, like, put messages... I think they also use technology to transport from place to place. Right. Like, they take care of, like, any insurgents that are going on. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is massive! Yeah, exactly. 
Um, and sometimes her her core is needed. Right. Um, and for the most part, people like Kate of Bishop and Miss Ms. America, Ms. Be mm-hmm. careful with that. America Chavez are really there for like cannon fodder. Like they're sent there because they need troops. And yeah. Like, that's what's gonna, like you're probably gonna die. Right. <sighs> and like Chavez is very aware of this. Yes. Um. Anyway, they start to like research Thanos a little bit, and like Leo mm-hmm. is just like, there's a guy. <laughs> It's like, we've like, figured out that there are many Titans. Mm-hmm. But, like, the one we might be talking about is like, been trying to, like, collect, like, a gauntlet of, <laughs> like, things. And they're like... They're like, so? They're like, I don't think that's what it is. So then, um, Brand is like, alright, like, she's having, like, a flashback to, like, talking to Fury on the wall before he leaves. And he's like, you know, I like you, you're like me. Because, like, it's really hard to become friends with you. But then those <laughs> who are, get, do get close to you, they're good people. Right. And you gotta trust them. She's like, okay, well, Leah's gone. Yeah. Hank McCoy is gone. Mm. I forgot to mention that. Uh, oh. McCoy was lost. Mm-hmm. In, um, I guess, in the uh, Annihilation Wave area with Ultron. Okay. And um, she had prayed that he was, like, still alive. Mm-hmm. And she's like, that's one of the flashbacks. Where she's like, and I guess Doom or someone heard me. Because at one point they get attacked and Hank McCoy's been turned into this, like, like gross a huge monster Mm -hmm. and like they have to kill him and it's really hard and stuff like that and there's like Ultrons everywhere because whatever yeah um anyway um I didn't think there's Ultrons that's just so weird because there's like Ultron and the Annihilation Wave but they exist in the same place and they're kind of working together and then there's the Deadlands and then nothing really happens in New Xander well yeah there's not much going on well nothing there's bugs yeah lots of bugs they don't seem to really like they get the other things that's what they're really focused on yeah um so she's like she has, like, the, the final part of the memory is, Fury's like, and if that fails, ask the robots. And you're like, what? So they, like, go into the bottom of the base where there are these two robot things. They're, like, sealed away. And um, she's really hostile towards them. Mm-hmm. And they're called the Unites. Because there's two of them instead of being the unit, which I had to look up what a unit was. And a unit was a thing that was created billions of years ago in Marvel history by this race. And they, like, know all this stuff and whatever. Now there's two of them here because clearly they're from different universes. Mm -hmm. And she considers them to be traitors of Ultron. And they're like, we're not that. We just want to help because that's kind of what they always have been. Mm -hmm. Um, So she asked them what, 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 what what a Thanos is. And they're like, well, we have, you know, a guy, like, <laughs> like who's, like, building a... She's like, no, no, not that one. And they're like, okay. So they start, like, they're like, we're going to have to access the, the uh, perfection mind, overmind. We have permission to do that, whatever. So they can do that kind of thing. Like, okay. they can connect to Ultron's... Like, data bank. Data bank. Or, which I'm like, isn't that kind of dangerous? Yeah. Clearly the Thanos they're talking about, or that, like, they... That they're worried about. Is the one that came out of... The, the, the ship. Yeah, the life raft. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, it has to and be I that Thanos. I guess that's the Thanos that's in New Xandar? No. No, it, that's not the one, because they know that oh. one is looking for the gauntlet, and they're like, yeah, it's not oh, that one. Oh, but the real, yeah. They're like, okay. the one that's going to really be the problem is this. And while they're looking around in the computer, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, there is a massive army on its way to the wall. Mm-hmm. And if it's not stopped, it's going to... Like, it's going to be a disaster. Right. By the way, I think at this point we are, we've got five more days before the wall's supposed to be destroyed. Oh, I don't know what they've been doing for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Like, they've been trying to, like, find stuff out or, like, whatever. And, like, Kang is all like, that Kang was a liar because, like, Kang would never not be able to, like... So they waste pages with Kang. No, Kang just randomly, like, says yeah. these things. Or, like, they're like, Kang doesn't... I am the best! That couldn't have been me! Well, he's yeah. just like, yeah, like, that... Like, no, there's no way that's real. That's a, that's a decoy simple with the enemy because, like, I, Kang could definitely, you know, navigate through, like, these minds. Like, right. Does he, he always refer to himself in the third person? No, I'm just talking like that because <laughs> oh, that's what he God. seems like. Yeah, he does. Um, <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, the the army that's coming is a combination of the Ultron machines. What they decided to do is they took that with the Annihilation Wave, I guess, and then they powered it with the unending energy of the Deadlands. Oh. And that's what's coming. Okay. And it's So two huge. nations united. Yeah. Kind of. That's awesome. Um, and they're like, it will lay siege, and 
it'll do that for weeks and every week it will destroy it'll be like a, a, a whole like a whole punching event yeah where it will puncture through the wall and inevitably doom will have to do something yeah because that's how bad it is right and she's like <sighs> there's a lot of story going on here yeah and it really does seem like it's tied heavily into what's going to be going on with secret, secret wars. wars i guess like the wall will fucking come down right i'm like is that what thanos is going to do that makes sense like release yeah everything beyond the shield into the like battle world in order to weaken doom sounds like i don't know why would you make in your story a huge like unending army of chaos if you're not going to loose it onto the world right right well it has to be his own downfall it's like every every book we're reading will end with like people being ripped apart by like robots and zombies well it might i don't know like maybe like I don't know. That'd be a badass way to go out. Right? Like, for a lot of stories. 1872, they're like, oh, like, Baron, uh, what's his name's gonna be? Ah! <laughs> just everyone oh, no. is just destroyed. <laughs> That's Peter how every... Parker, Peter Parker, Mary Jane, and Annie are like, yay, we stopped the, the region. Ah! <laughs> That's every story's ending. That's yeah. what's gonna happen. Yeah. So... That's how they're gonna wrap up all these books. That's great. That would be brilliant. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I would be okay with that. Because Brand is trying really hard to put a stop to this. Yeah. And, like, they're on the wall. They're... they're... She'll be the first to die. Well, maybe. I mean, they they get a last page reveal mm-hmm. that's like, oh. No. That's too bad. To sum this up, Abigail Brand, she's lost a lot of people. She's in charge of the wall. Fury left. Leah left to go find magic. Right. Hank Pym, or Pym slash... Phalanx yep, died. died there. There was like ant people. And you got this like crazy like Thanos army. Issue. You got you got this you got this Thanos issue, you got this crazy army coming, and you got Kang being Kang. Yeah, being Kang. Um, He's and, gonna fuck everything. And don't forget you got the Endless Summers who right. the head of the Endless Summers really respects Brand. And okay. it's just like she's gone through a lot, but even though she doesn't like consider us any different. Yeah. Um, Do they all look different? Kind of. Like okay. they all have different like clothes and stuff like that. But, like they wear different things. I'm just wondering if... Doom? I'd be surprised. I don't yeah. know if it's going to destroy anything or an upseat Doom. I feel like anything, it's going to be a factor in, like, either distracting or reducing his power because he has to do something about it. Yeah. You know? Like... Like how he always has to concentrate to keep the world together. Yeah. Right? But, like, at the same time, the fact that they put in and they have mentioned... Like, she mentioned a bunch of times when the wall has fallen... Mm-hmm. You know, Doom only did something when it when came it was... to his door. Yeah, when it so affected him. So this could be... How the world ends. Yeah. That'd be cool. Not with a bang. Or a whimper, but with a, an army of mutants. Yeah, not an army of... <laughs> I, an army of buggy robots. I'm about, the writing is solid, it's humorous, it's fun, it's serious, and the art is really great. It's gritty, and like it's very in tone with the book. So awesome. it's cool! Cool. Well, there you go, guys. Secret Wars TLDR this week was an epic one. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens when Secret Wars number 5 comes out, which you can see on uh, Off the Rack. Another show we do that's much shorter than this one. I am Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. See you guys next week. I was going to do Future Imperfect, but like I'm three issues behind, so nah. Aww. Also, we did the original Future Imperfect and back issues. It's true. Well, I got, it sounds like you had a kind of a good week overall. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean, out of the titles you read, it seemed like a majority of them you kind of had fun with. In some I, shape you before. know what? They were all kind of fun. There you go. Except for Ultimate End. Except for that. But... Uh, but some were stronger than others, yeah. and I was really surprised by which ones were stronger than others. Aha! Uh-huh.